What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to the Sean Connery edition of Shut Up Wars where you should admit your... <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Shut Up Wars episode 46 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you're interested in being part of the show, make sure to watch the video link below. But without wasting any more time, let the Shut Up Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always, everyone's gear for their setups along with anything I recommend in this episode will be linked below. But here are your 5 lucky contestants. We have Alec, Arnold, Eric, Kessel and Michael. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the show is Alec and his single display setup. We have a 27 inch ASUS ROG Swift monitor, Razer Black Widow keyboard and a Death Adder mouse. Also on the desk we have a pair of Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers, a Bose Soundlink 2 next to the PC and a MacBook Pro on the Book Arc charging stand. We also have a pair of Astro A50s off to the right side. Cable management looks very clean, it appears all the cables are behind the backboard, so you get an easy pass. The PC that's powering the setup has a 4790K and two GTX 970s in SLI. The acoustic foams on the wall aren't enough to really make a difference, but I like the aesthetics of it, and it really makes the setup pop, especially with those LEDs behind the 48 inch Samsung TV. Overall, a really badass gaming and productivity setup you have there, Alec. Thank you for entering. Arnold is next up with another single display setup. We have the 27 inch ASUS monitor, a SteelSeries Apex gaming keyboard, and a Logitech MX Master Mouse. We also have a pair of JBL E50 headphones and a Logitech G27 wheel off to the left side. Cable management is flawless, not a single wire in sight. I wish you told me the name of the desk because it looks freaking boss. I do like glossy surfaces since it tends to reflect the items that are on top of it and it just looks pretty badass to be honest. Not to mention the LEDs are more amplified due to the reflection of white. The PC that's powering the setup has an AMD 9370 which is overclocked to 4.4 and a GTX 970. I really have nothing to recommend other than a simple headphone hanger to keep those cans from scratching the desk. A very clean and organized setup. Thank you Arnold for entering Setup Wars. Shifting to dual display setups, we have Eric with two ASUS 27 inch monitors side by side. What is it with ASUS and 27 inch monitors? This is like three in a row. Also plus one on that wallpaper, you sure have taste. By the way, this is the monitor I use for my PC builds each month since a lot of you guys keep asking me about it. Below those, we have the Razer Black Widow keyboard and a Death Adder mouse on top of the Reflex Lab extended mouse pad. Hanging from the desk are the Sony MDR XB600 headphones and is, what is that? Is that a mug just chilling there? Cable management is pretty good. No cables on the ground since you mounted them on the left side of the table and also great use of the 3M tape and even cable clips to keep the wires organized. I'm sure the protein shake blender and remotes can be hidden somewhere else to clean up the desk a bit, but overall a pretty dope setup. Thank you Eric for entering. Kessel is next up with a dope black and red themed setup. We have a 24 inch Acer monitor in the middle and a 24 inch AOC monitor to the left. We have a bunch of stuff on the desk, a Corsair K7 the RGB keyboard, Logitech G303 mouse on top of the Ozone extended mouse pad. Also on the desk we have the SteelSeries Siberia headset resting on the Thermal Take headphone hanger and the Go Groove bass pulse speakers that I actually featured on my Cooltech on their 100 back in September. Cable management is great under the desk but it's a mess on top. There's just too many things going on there which results in a bunch of wires. I don't know if this table is bolted against the wall or what, but if it isn't, I would suggest running the cables down and behind the desk to clean up the surface a bit. The PC that's powering the setup has a 6700K and a GTX 970 packed inside the gorgeous NZXT Noctis case. Another thing I would change is maybe hanging the headphone under the desk instead to free up some space on the desk. I mean, it's pretty cluttered as it is. That way you can move the speaker to the left side of the monitor so it's not getting in the way. As for the monitors not lining up together, a dual monitor arm will definitely fix that for you. This is the one I recommend for your type of desk since it doesn't need any clamps to be installed and just sits on your desk like this. 
Other than those tweaks, this is a really awesome black and red build. Thank you, Kessel, for entering. Last but not least, we have Michael, a 27-inch Samsung monitor, Corsair K65 RGB keyboard, and a Gigabyte M8000X mouse. We also have a spray-painted Blue Yeti mic and a pair of audio motion speakers. Resting on the desk are the M50Xs, and the PC powering the setup has a 6700K and a GTX 960. Cable management definitely needs some work, and I strongly recommend you to watch my cable management video I did on the channel. There's a lot of good info there that can help you clean up your wires. Also, picking up a boom arm for your Blue Yeti would be better since the mic is in the way of your monitor. And with the boom arm, you can easily bring it close to you when you need to voice over or use the mic. And when you're done, you can simply retract it back for a much cleaner desk setup. Pretty simple and straightforward setup. Thank you, Michael, for entering. So that's it for this episode of Setup Wars. You guys know the drill. Make sure to drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. As always, voting will end Saturday and I'll announce the winners on my Twitter and Instagram account. So make sure you guys are following me there. It's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like to show your support and I'll see you guys in the next video.